What's up, Gumlin Kitchen fans? Another big one. This probably has more product in it than the last big one. And we got a lot of good high grades. Got a couple master grades. A couple SDs in. The Hello Kitty's back. And then some nice new statues and figures. So down here, you got Next Edge started doing Digimon now. So there are your some of your favorite Digimons and kind of chibi. The next edge is a little bit chibi, kind of in between chibi and uh, regular size. Not as uh, weird proportions as an SD, but definitely on the chibi side. Let's see what that looks like. So, but they have a little posability, which is nice. And they just look cool. Then you got this nice Imperial Dramon. And the brand new Wing Zero Metal build. That thing is sick. And you got a Ava Evangelion. You got Unit 1 right here. So this is, what are these? These are Robot Spirits. So pretty good size it looks like. But within the robot, robot Spirits sizing. But the paint looks really nice on that thing. I'm really liking that. It's going to have great posability. So... That's a win. Got some more of the One Piece. I think we've got a lot of One Piece statues right now. So we are, have a nice variety of One Piece. If you're a One Piece fan, we got it. Got some Sailor Moon. DBZ, we have a nice selection right now too. And then uh, the new show, I think it's Jujutsu Kaisen, I believe it's called. I only watched a couple episodes, but it's pretty cool. So you got him and... Let's see, he has a couple faces there. I'm assuming he has his demon face. Yep, so it comes with the demon face. So you can put him in that mode too. This guy comes with his uh, eye cover on or off. So you get a couple modes there. So very nice, pack full of accessories in there. Then you got the metal, I'm sorry, not the metal, the robot spirits of the ground type. Very nice looking. I like how they're doing these new boxes. There's just a little peak window there. So they can still do a lot of graphics on the front. It's pretty cool. Look at that. Looks really good. Oh, newest Converges, I believe. This is... Oh, this is a 10th anniversary one. So this has some pretty cool stuff in there. Can't wait to open that up. And then we got the new Dragonar. Not familiar with this anime at all. But interesting design. Very red, white, and blue. I feel like this has got to be the most co common met colors in Japan. Red, white, blue, with a little bit of yellow or gold. The brothers look pretty good. Not hyper detailed or anything. Just a good looking kit. I like how they did this like weather look on the cover. I think that'd be nice to try to pull off. Cover art looks really good. Jigglypuff, that's brand new. Very cute to go along with all your other uh, cute little Pokemon kits. And this may be new. This is the new option set for uh, your 30 minute missions. Like that sniper rifle. Then what else we got here? So Mandalorian. Ah, got the new Mechatros. So that's actually new. We missed that one. Looks like a chocolate and mint color, sort of like Tiffany's. And then you got a cream color and that same kind of teal shade. Now we got some 30 minute missions in. This one I like right here. They call this the mass produced submachine. So this one, I really like that because that's that very practical sci-fi mech look. And it actually stances a lot shorter than a regular uh, 30 minute mission. Very interesting. Or what it would be like to put uh, its legs on a 30 minute mission. It'd be weird. <laughs> New uh, SD right here. If you're into the Dynasty ones, very nice. Looks like it has a wow. That thing has a lot going on. Look like a porcupine on the back. It's crazy. Messer, huge mover 
a couple weeks ago when we got them in. Flew right out of here. So if you guys missed, there's your chance again. Get that Zogok back in. Zaku 2, Shars, and the Sazabi. And that Zaku 1 Sniper, which also flew. Just good stuff. Lotto, that ground type. Fortunately, we only got one of those. So if you're looking for that, you better get in here. I'm not holding that one for anybody. Easy 8. Uh, Victory. That high new. Ah. Damn, we didn't get a lot of these. But this is a great. I think we got more of these on the way. So this is the Zaku uh, Ground War set. Comes with, I believe, two tanks and the Desert Zaku. So very cool set. And those Federation tanks are cool because they like the double barrels on them. Really nice. You got your Wing Zero and your uh, Barbados. Nice amount of those. Your Battle Logs back in. So that Double O Command, the Perfect Strike, the Wing Sky Zero. Good thing we got this back in, that Red Frame Inversion that was doing really well. Uh, some of the ones we haven't had for a while, like the uh, the Heaven Lance or Live Lance. And yeah, your Blazing and your Helios So pretty much, I think this might be the whole line right now. Yes. Yeah. So that looks really good. Kasatria, classic. If you haven't got that, that's a good high grade, especially for high grade builders. All we got them, so they come off a real grade or a master grade. Been asking for that for years. Uh... High new killer, killer RG right there. Zeta, you got your classic OG Gundam and the RG, as well as Shars. So, good stuff there on the RGs. You got the Lupus Rex, that's the full mechanics Lupus Rex, and the Bale. So, as of right now, no other way to get a Lupus Rex in 1100. So, that is the route. And if you're the kind of person who wants to get into scribing and stuff, something like these 1-100s are great because they have a decent amount of panel lines, but you can go ham on there. You can make that thing look like a master grade. Uh, you got your RX-78 and master grades, the 3.0. This one does have all the nice extra details, scribe lines and everything already put in there for you. Very nice, uh, the 3.0 if you like detailed look. Uh, Wing Zero, this is a classic. You, know, you got to have that. Epion, Heavy Arms, only one of them, so thank them last. Kyrios, and then got it back. Virtue, so the big boy. This one has consistently flew off the shelf, so we only got four of them, so I get on that. And like I said earlier in the week, we will be at Geek Fest this weekend. I think the hours are 10 to 5. Don't wait till like 3 o'clock because you will be be disappointed at most cons people are cleaning up around three so get there early get the good stuff while it's there we will be there and i hope to see you guys there all right peace